But first, the most complicated relationship in Washington, one that affects all of us. It is Trump and Fox, Fox and Trump. The president gets his briefings from Fox. He gets led by Fox, often gets misled by Fox. He hires people from Fox. He fires people based on what he hears on Fox. And he firms up his base through the network. But he has also been complaining about the network. In fact, more than 20 times this year by my count. This week, he claimed the Fox has changed so much that the network, quote, isn't working for us anymore. What an incredible admission. Trump really thinks Fox belongs to him and his supporters. It's unlike we've any, anything we've ever seen in modern media. Forget how Fox's critics view the network. Trump is saying that he views the network as an arm of the White House and the GOP. Now, I think his bursts of anti-media messages lately against Fox and Axios, The Post and CNN reflect insecurity. With the re-election campaign on his mind, he doesn't want voters to know about the messy reality of life in the Trump White House. He hates the leaks, and he really hates when people, especially on Fox, cover his Democratic rivals. So he lashes out. That's what keeps happening. He sees segments like this, with a DNC spokeswoman being interviewed on Fox. Now, his own spokesman was on the air just a few minutes later, but Trump hated seeing the Democratic spokeswoman. So think about this. One day, he's promoting Jeanine Pirro's book, the next day, he's saying Fox is so bad that we, again, the word we, have to start looking for a new news outlet. And then what did he do the next day? He called in to Brian Kilmeade's Fox News radio show. This, this is Trump whiplash. It's caused by his impulsiveness and his need for attention. Look what he said to Brian Kilmeade. I'm not happy with Fox. I, I think, you know, people think Fox is for me. Fox is, is good. Look, uh, Sean and Laura, and Tucker has really been very good for, well, Tucker's a little tricky, but that's okay. You become, you were solid, I, you know, I used to say you were a solid six, maybe a seven, but you're right. getting much better. Hey, congrats, Kilmeade, you're a nine now. See, here's what happens, all right? When Trump gets ticked off about something he sees on Fox, his friends at the network try to calm him down. They try to remind him that all the highest rated shows on Fox are the pro-Trump shows from Fox and Friends in the morning to the Ingram angle at night. Now that's what happened this week. He heard that reminder again, and that's what led to this tweet on Saturday. He went out there congratulating Sean Hannity on his ratings. Trump wants sycophants on the air, not reporters, and certainly not DNC spokespeople. Trump lashes out when he sees reporters on Fox. He wants shows that look like this. You know what they look like. They look like news, but they're not really. They're pro-Trump cheerleading. Trump wants absolute loyalty. Maybe he thinks he needs it to win re-election. But that's the truth about the Fox-Trump relationship. Let's get analysis now from the Atlantic's White House correspondent and CNN analyst Elena Plott, Baltimore Sun media critic David Zerwick, and GQ magazine correspondent Julia Ioffe. Julia, you've studied Russia and other authoritarian governments. Does the way Trump views Fox remind you of how other leaders elsewhere view their state-run TV networks? Absolutely. It's, you know, it's Dear Leader's state-run TV. The only difference is that the authoritarian leaders are a little bit more subtle in hiding their tracks and don't kind of air their grievances like this on the, on the air. They, they'll just quietly fire people. Um, but it is, you know, all the stuff you mentioned, all the, the rotating door between the Trump administration and Fox News, you know, he'd be forgiven for thinking that it's part of the White House and it's just not running the way he wants it to. Uh, David Zerwick, what's your reaction to this relationship? It's a pretty twisted relationship, I think, because President yeah. Trump just does not appreciate how journalism functions. So as a result, he lashes out when he sees acts of journalism on Fox. He does. And, you know, the, the, the signs of a fraying of this relationship, I think, uh, mm -hmm. are there to a little bit. But I'm really skeptical of this. This is a dance that Trump does and Fox does. Don't forget. Fox was founded as an ideological political operation, not a journalistic operation. This is its promised land, finding someone like Trump. This relationship is so deep, so sick, so twisted that these people are not going to break up over having a Democratic guest on or somebody saying something unpleasant about Trump on any show. Look. Fox wants Trump to be elected in 2020. Trump wants to be reelected in 2020. This, they're going to keep going steady. And, and this relationship is not going away, Brian. Maybe that's why Fox never comments when Trump posts these tweets. Yes, you know, he's absolutely. attacking journalists at Fox. He's attacking news anchors. Typically, CNN and other outlets hit back and remind the president about the free press. But Fox never comments 
Elena, why do you think that is? Well, it really is astounding, Brian, I think, because Fox knows it has the leverage in this relationship. I think that if Donald oh. Trump were to try to command his supporters to what, go start watching OANN in exclusively? I mean, no, it's not going to happen. Um, so, it, you know, it's one of those few moments, I think, um, when you look at the president's dynamic with any entity person in the United States, that they are the ones that actually, um, you know, hold the cards here. And I think Fox is going to rest pretty comfortably that the reality is that with an impulsive president, um, <laughs> you know, as you've pointed out, the whiplash means that his opinion will change the next day and they will stay the same. Right, so Fox can just wait until the next day for his feelings to change. Let me show you one soundbite, David Zerowick, that really sums up the week. Joe Walsh on with Fox Business Network anchor Stuart Varney. Walsh asked if the president's ever lied and Varney said this. <laughs> Stuart, do you believe this president lies? No. You don't believe he's ever lied? He exaggerates and spins. Okay, do you believe he's ever told the American people a lie? No. Okay. David Zerwick, state you your want state run, You want state-run TV behind the Iron Curtain in 1961? Czechoslovakia, that's it. It's astonishing. Lou Dobbs is the same, and, and Trump loves Lou Dobbs. I mean, on that business channel, that's it. But that is one of the great, that's, a, that's an astonishing clip. You know, and Varney thinks he's really being smart there by, you know, saying, oh, no, it's a spin. It, it's astonishing. Can I, can I just add something? Yeah, please. Uh, you know, you said that the president doesn't appreciate how journalism works. I, I think he does appreciate how journalism works. He understands it. He hates it. And this is why he has said, you know, he said, I, d I try to discredit you people on purpose so that when you write unflattering things about me, no one will believe you. So he understands completely how this works, and he's trying to attack it at the source, which is why he loves Fox so much, because it's how he mm. wishes journalism would work, right? That it's just... Destruction of a shared truth. Yeah, right. destruction of a shared reality is the, yep. the big story that's happening in front of us every day.